wanted to do a, a double process sort of theme here. So we have two lovely models that have both had various um, applications of double process. First, we pre-lightened um, her base with uh, L'Oreal Professional Multi-Techniques Lightening Powder. I'm the brand ambassador for L'Oreal Professional Hair Color. So big shout out to LP for thank for supplying us with the support that we needed to get this job done well. And we did a little bit of a root shadow with Violet. I love, I still am kind of feeling this non-traditional hair color trend, not so much in the unicorn tribe way. That's those, the, the guys that mastered that have done that well. I like to do a little finesse in a little different way because it suits my client better. I think it's a really fun time right now because clients are, the average woman is more likely to experiment with something like this more than she was before. And then we also did a double process on Ted's model there, multi-techniques lightning powder with 20 volume, and we glossed her with Deolite as well. I think they both look amazing. Patty, what are you doing? I'm kind of going in point cutting, doing some texturizing. You know, we pre-cut prior to the show, so I don't really want to remove a lot of length through the sides. I just want to add some texture. So I'm doing some deep point cutting at, at this What's moment. What's the inspiration so. with the POW? Pop art. Mm -hmm. Pop art. And you know, I mean, look at it. Can you see it from here? Yeah. Cool, right? Jimmy. <laughs> yeah, we were really inspired by pop art. Our friend Sonia, who owns a... Uh, She's a designer and she, uh, her company's called Tableau Vivance and she works in latex. So any celebrities that you see on red carpets, whether it's Beyonce, JLo, Rihanna, anyone that's wearing any kind of latex, it's usually coming from her. So she uh, loaned us these garments today that look so amazing. So we were really inspired by that pop art kind of feeling. Hey, Jimmy. Yeah? <laughs> what are you doing? Hey everybody, I'm Jimmy. How's everybody doing? What's up, Jimmy? <laughs> Can I hear it, all the Latinos out there? <laughs> Gracias por venir. <laughs> <laughs> so today we are doing um, on Savannah. She, if you go on my um, Instagram, Jimmy Hilton, um, I have a before video on her on my Insta Snap, and um, so we're doing. 30 volume with clay lightener by L'Oreal Professional. Um, I really like this because it really does keep uh, the moisture inside and it keeps working as it hardens. And um, we really just want like a natural sun-kissed look for her. I found her out into, um, she was shopping out there and I asked her to be my model like what, like an hour and a half ago? And she's like, I've been, I was walking around the whole convention center Finding someone to ask me to do my hair, so it was meant to be. <laughs> so that's our story. And um, so we did the back, and then I just did. Um, so what I do is I just do like a a heavy. I do heavy on the left, heavy on the right. So I go by the wider, the brighter. So the more product you have, the wider, the blonder it'll get. And I kind of just shadow in the middle. She has like a highlight line in the middle. And from there, we'll probably just shadow her out, and I'll post an after picture on my Instagram. And what's your Instagram? Jimmy Hilton. Yes. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Jimmy. Give Thank Jimmy a round of applause, please. What are you doing, Mr. Gibson? Well, you know, um, just cutting some hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, for me, I like the idea of being technical, like we've known um, thank you, Vidal, because Vidal has really gave us that skill, right? Mm -hmm. The technical aspect of hair cutting, knowing what the difference is between one length, the, the difference between graduation, the difference between layering, and the combination of all of those things that give you really an advanced, beautiful look, right? I think it's really important to know those different techniques. And then I'd, I'd like to have a little bit of a freehand, which is more of kind of like an Italian or French way of cutting. So I like the combination of both. But I always say that it's really important to know the distinction of what it is that you want to achieve and the technique that's going to get you there. So it's really not about a haircut. It's more about the technique. Would you agree with that? Yes. yes. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Okay, that's better. I was like, hello. That's a little better. I know that you're mesmerized by my gold shoes. Um, <laughs> And my hat. <laughs> oh, yeah, and your hat. No one clapped. Uh, <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm actually just creating some softness. You know, um, Rachel didn't want a lot of length off. And, you know, you have those clients every day in the salon that, that say, 
you know, give me the same thing you gave me the last time and you're really not sure what you did, right? <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm just really creating um, some softness around the front. You know, she hadn't had a haircut in a long time and using more of a freehand technique just to create softness around the edges. Um, are any of my Hanzo boys here? Hanzo Nation, are you here? If they're not, that's what I'm using. Um, if you don't have Hanzo, you should go out and check them out. Uh, they're a great bunch of great guys, but also the quality of the shear is really amazing too. So um, yeah, go see Pete at Hanzo. Tell yeah, most of the you. people on the Ted Gibson artistic team are fans of Hanzo. Yes, Hanzo. Oh, Patty says yes. yes. Yeah, I have, <laughs> I have Hanzo for sure. You have Hanzos too? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do color and I drop them a lot, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was talking with Pete last night and he said, you don't cut hair at all. I said the last haircut I gave was my mom in the kitchen because she made me do it. And then she sent me a, an email like five days later and said it was the worst haircut of her life. <laughs> it's like, that's your fault, mom. So I love what Ted was saying about how when the guests come into the salon and they have a very, you know, it's hard to get them out of their rut sometimes. Or it's hard for us to get out of our own rut sometimes. And we have a, t we have a tendency to say, okay, same thing as last time, great, I'll mix it up. Oh, you like last time? I can do that again for you. I think we need to have a shift in our consultation. And every single consultation needs to start with your professional recommendation. And that professional recommendation does two things. It affirms or reaffirms who the expert is in the relationship. We need them to know that we are the fashion and beauty experts. So starting with your professional recommendation affirms that. The second thing that it does is it opens up opportunities for selling more. Because why is she in the salon? Why is she sitting in your chair? She's there to spend money. And she chose to spend her money with you. So if we're not creating opportunities for her to spend her money, we're doing a disservice. So regardless of what she's booked, if you talk about adding a highlight, changing the gloss, putting in more dimension with a low light, doing a little painting, it's creating ideas for her. Spending money is fun. We love to, I love to spend money. Do you love to spend money? I love to spend yeah. money. Yeah. So we need to create that opportunity for her. Start with your professional recommendation. Patty, that's looking gorgeous. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. This cut has just brought her color out even more so. It looks beautiful, fantastic. Beautiful, Patty. Thank you. So these other models that are on the stage with us, we have a combination of hair colors on this first, I can't remember your name. Kelly? Okay, on Kelly, we did a combination of professional permanent hair or demi-permanent hair color, the Dialite in a 7.40. That's a level seven with intense copper. And then through the mid lengths and ends, we added, we ran into some friends, our friends at Pulp Riot. You guys know Pulp Riot? Yeah. Uh, we ran yeah, into them and they were like, Riot. you guys should play with some of our stuff, play with some of our stuff. Yeah. So we did and we added a nice bold dimension with some of their products. And I think it's really fun to be able to incorporate different techniques, different styles. Our friend Shell, who did all of the makeup or was the lead for the makeup, she didn't do it all herself, is also on the artistic team. You'll meet her a little bit later. But she was inspired by a fashion show that she saw last season and created this headpiece out of Kinecolon and um, some wig hair that we had. Yes. I think that she did a great job layering these pop art elements in that frizzed hair. I think it looks really fashion forward. I love it. I love it too. Beautiful. And on our last model over here, who's only 16 years old, if you can stand it. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, we repurposed a wig that we had in our, Ted and I are going through a big metamorphosis, a big change. And so we're going through all of our stuff. We're going through the storage locker. We're going through all the drawers that we haven't opened in our apartment for a really long time. And we're finding these things. And we found a, a wig that we hadn't used for a long time. We took some sun-kissed lightning oil, which is an ammonia-free lightning oil. We mixed it with 40 volume and put it over this wig that was covered in um, green and peach tones, green, peach, and yellow. And we got it back to blonde, just like that. It was really amazing. And so we created this kind of blush root shadow with a royal blue shine line into this deep lilac color. 
And I think that it looks really awesome with the angles that Ted put in the shape of the haircut that sort of follow the line of her shoulder and almost emulate the hairline around the ear that looks great with her latex outfit. All righty. Anyone have any questions? Nothing? Yes, hi, what's your name? Hi, Saliba. Hi, what's your, what's, what's your question? How is it that we become a part of the artistic team? So we hold auditions once or twice a year. Uh, we only post it on our social media, so you got to follow us on social, at Jason Baki, that's me, at Ted Gibson, that's him, and you'll see when the next auditions will be held. Yes. Let's uh, let these models kind of show off what you guys have done. Just went viral. Right 